So first off, guys, we are actually going to be doing a skin analysis to see. Now, I always thought that I had normal to combination skin with an oilier T-zone. However, when I talked to Samantha, she told me that I actually have drier skin, which I thought was really interesting. So I actually went to see a dermatologist about three weeks ago because okay. I was having issues with acne breakout and I have something called folliculitis. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's, he says it's actually more common yeah. than anything, mm -hmm. but um, so I'm on antibiotics for that just so you guys okay. know. You normally have drier skin if you're taking Medica medication. Yeah, I feel like my skin has definitely it changed. It always does that. Like strong dermatology uh, patients, especially for like acne skin, breakouts, they often find dehydrated skin. Mm. So you could still have like a combination skin where you feel a bit oily, but it's kind of sucking all your natural hydration. Mm. So you definitely need products that are going to help put back in the yeah. thing, lock in the moisture that you already have. Mm -hmm. But that is normal. When you, okay. Anytime someone tells me that, I'm like, that's, that's pretty normal. We can just have product that's a little bit more stronger. Okay, perfect. It. Exciting, all right. Yay! So okay. this is the skincare analysis machine. Yes. Nice. And then we have my profile on there. We are good. So we're gonna do a personalized here. And you have, different categories. So we're actually going to start with pores. The skin analysis is just going to take pictures of your skin, but really good pictures. I'm warning you, like maybe don't look at the pictures. It's not the most <laughs> yeah, yeah, attractive yeah. pictures. Um, and this zone, the moisture sedum, I'll explain to you once we get there, but that's where we'll know what type of skin type. Oh, yeah. nice. So if it's dehydrated, if it's dry, oily combination. Did you put anything on your face? Yeah, I have the Belief Toner, I have the Belief Moisture Eye Balm, and I have the Belief Day Cream. Okay. So, uh, the Aqua Balm. The Aqua Balm. That's all okay. I have on right now, because I try to keep it as naked as possible. Okay, perfect. The only reason why I ask that for any skin analysis is that if you put any like a little bit of concealer, like more makeup, mm. the skin analysis, once we're in the section impurities, it's going to say there's dirt. Oh, um, the, okay. And it's like, it's not, it's just, <laughs> it's just makeup. Yeah. It's just so I know. Yeah. So first step is going to be our pores. So you can see how it's, you know, taking some, some pictures. Yeah. And the pores oftentimes going to be close to the nose. So I'm going to take it right here. Yeah. I'm going to take a couple pictures okay. and then we can also bring it a bit closer. Okay. Oh my God. This is more on the cheek, uh, so you see like the pores aren't too bad, but you can really see yeah. the pores well oh, like, right there. Yeah. Now we're gonna do so spots is you know any freckles. That part I like to ask the person if it bothers them. Mm. If they do have any spots or um, one pigmentation or freckles, some people they like it or some people they don't doesn't bother them. Mm -hmm. But if they do have a lot. Um, I want to know about it because then I know if I need to recommend products for that. Yes. Uh, if they say it really doesn't bother me, even if it is a target on the skin analysis, I'm just going to mm -hmm. skip it. Be yeah. Like, it's okay. Of course. We don't need to do that. Overall, my freckles are okay. They I look did cute. Things. I had a sunspot here at one point. How are you? And um, that sunspot really bothered me because like, it, was, it was much darker than it okay. was. Like, you can probably still see a a little, a little bit, bit. Yeah. but I actually use this convincible power serum. Sorry, the the power serum and this convincible, yeah. and that like faded oh. it so much. Yeah. Such a big difference. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if that could be cleared up more, okay. that's great. And it's always good to know yeah. what really does help. Yeah. Right? Okay. Perfect. So, uh, what? If, also, everything we talk about today, I do take notes of it because at the end of the visit, any visit of the services, we send a recap email. Oh, amazing! So then, you know, when I start talking about products, like what suits you best, um, any questions that you have, like even in makeup, like how do I do this? Any tips and tricks that I give you? At the end of the day, you're not like <laughs> have to remember all of this once yeah. I get home. Everything's gonna be in an email. Amazing. So we're gonna Perfect. do that. Good Let's take that. pictures of spots. So again, on the cheek. 
So it does take pretty close up, like you can see yeah. it. It's like you see very well. I'm not, I'm gonna take another picture just so we have variety yeah. of the area. It's just like an overall picture. I know it's on my face. <laughs> well, that's why every time I'm like, you can look at it, but I'm telling you, you don't really want to look at it. That's hilarious. Um, so like, I love so it. that, we're gonna do wrinkles. Honestly, you know, <laughs> wrinkles. I have this one stubborn and I think expression. It's yeah. not an expression. Line. But I, I think I figured it out. It's because I sleep on my left side too, which probably doesn't help mm -hmm. too. Um, yeah. So the whatever side that you sleep, even lashes too, mm -hmm. you'll see like one side of even the lashes, the eye, the eye might get a little bit like droopier. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's why oftentimes like. It, it is best to sleep like with your like straight up, okay. but like who you can't really control. You look controlling. So it's okay, but it just makes sense because you see it on the skin. Yeah. You can see on the facial structure how like one side might be a little bit different than the other. Yeah. The way you're sleeping. Yeah. Um. So it's okay. Maybe especially that you have the roller. Mm -hmm. Uh, you could help it really focus more on that side okay. to just help it. Right, So we do close to the eye area. Mm -hmm. My main thing is also the post acne marks. Mm. Those bother me a lot. Those okay. stay on for like they stay on my face forever. But I think it's kind of good to know that you tried vitamin C. Yeah. Your skin's kind of like uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about this product. Mm -hmm. So then I can give you other options that can help give more of a brightening okay. effect yeah. because post acne oftentimes is going to be like demarcation yeah, for your like spots. That's normal. So we can go over that as well. Yeah, perfect. And I have so many skincare questions. <laughs> We have the perfect you. person for the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Roxanne is a is an esthetician and a oh professional gosh. makeup artist. Amazing. Yeah. So, so I, I got you in both departments. <laughs> uh, okay, impurities. So let's see how well is your cleanser. So I'll show you the pictures after. The less we see, so whoever sees this, mm -hmm. the less we see the amount of pink, the better. Because when we see when we start seeing little pink dots, Ooh. the pink dots is little <laughs> white heads, black heads, uh, but you don't see any, which means that you know your cleansing steps, your toners, those are little hair. Oh, those are hairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have worms on my face. <laughs> Not on your face, in your face. Oh, in my face. Of course. You. <laughs> I'll show you after. You can analyze the pictures. You can compare them. Mm -hmm. So we can look at your pictures and then compare it to someone that would have impurities. So someone that has a lot of black heads, white heads, but they don't really use cleansers, they don't, or they cleanse but really quickly, like they miss a lot of steps. Mm -hmm. um, you would see the difference of someone that's their priority and someone that they have a good skin for that. Yeah. So cleansing wise, you're really good. <laughs> Keep getting the approval. <laughs> Um, okay, let's do moisture. All right, this is so much fun. So, where's the fun? Moisture, this I'm gonna show you first. This little metal bar, that's how it measures the amount of hydration you have. So it's this little, I don't know if you see, oh, right there. This little metal bar right there. And we're gonna do your T-zone and okay. your U-zone. So okay. it's gonna tell us what your skin needs in different areas. And this doesn't take pictures, it just takes like measurements. Mm. And then we're gonna measure the amount of oils that you have on your skin. So for this step, I'm gonna go around. We need our little stickers. And these little stickers. It's basically gonna absorb any oils that you have on your skin. And it's gonna change the pink. It's gonna change the little pink sticker uh, 
it's gonna get darker. Okay. So the darker it is, the oily er. It's gonna is that a word? Yeah, oily. The, the, yeah, 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 <laughs> oily er. <laughs> yeah. Um, that means your skin is. All right. So the less, if you don't see that the thicker gets dark, it means that you're most likely gonna be a dry skin. Okay. Or very dry skin. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so you want some change. Yes. So you want like a good combination. You want a little bit, but you don't want too much. Mm. So we're gonna start with the T-zone. During the day, is there an area that you feel that you do get oily? Like is it yeah, more on the, okay. Just to know the T-zone, it's, you know, the forehead, nose, and chin. So I wanna grab the section that would have the most oily. We do have a good amount, but it's not that much. Like I've, I've seen a lot. So you can see it's like a little bit darker. And then I feel like my cheeks are dry. So you're most likely going to be What it could also be, it could also be an oily skin, but dehydrated. Okay. Uh, but there's no oily, like yeah. there's no oils on your cheeks. At all. Like it didn't change color at all. Mm -hmm. So and then what I'm doing is that I'm taking pictures of the stickers. I want to say you smell really good. What are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm what wearing are you the haiku. That's a haiku? Yeah. It smells one? really good on you. Thank you. Like, really good on you. I'm like, hmm. Thank the green you. one? The green one, yeah. It's definitely a favorite. Like a, a customer favorite. I'm trying to think if I put any I always put the essential oils too, so it could be like the combination of the it, two. It, you just smell really good. <laughs> Thanks, that's a really good compliment, you know, because I am in people's like bubble. Yeah. So you don't want someone that's like, like doesn't smell that much. You're like, oh my god, I'm, I have to sit next to this person. I'm done analyzing your skin. Okay. Let's see the results. First step is going to do, it's analyzing like right now any blue spots. The blue spots, it's analyzing the sizes of your pores. You can do compare, so this is your skin, and somebody else with that doesn't have like a lot of pores. Mm -hmm. And you can see as we keep sliding, it's most likely gonna be like dilated pores, very large pores. Mm -hmm. So that's how the skin analysis is gonna compare. So, skin type, we're actually dry. Ah, so it makes sense what Samantha said. Yep. Um, so T-zone, it does say that you lack of moisture. So you do need some hydration on your skin with lack of sebum. So it's what it basically means is that you need an overall skincare routine that's gonna help, um, yes, nourish, hydrate, but really lock in any moisture that you do have and help boost the production okay. of the hydration. So we have that. Moisture, we're normal. We're not dehydrated. We're not um, uh, overly, but it's you're more on the normal side. But the more your levels are higher, the more it's gonna be a priority, mm. something you need to focus on. The best way to know is looking at this chart. Okay. So this chart is any dots that is in the center, they're not priority, means you're good, you're all set, like your, your skin is good. Anything that's farther, it means that's what your, need, your skin needs. Mm -hmm. So your skin needs products for pores and products for sun, yep. which kind of makes sense because every, you know, we start talking and you said that your concerns are more like post acne, mm -hmm. um, anything with spots, anything with pigmentation. Mm -hmm. So we're really gonna focus on hydration. Okay and spots. That's so, what I would focus on. So for the pores being dilated, is it because my, my skin is dehydrated? So, well, not dehydrated, but like it, it needs more. Because you said that your skin before your medication yeah. uh, used to be more combination and oily, it kind of makes sense because oftentimes oily skin, combination skin, they naturally have more dilated uh, pores. Mm -hmm. It's just the amount of sebum that comes out of the pores. Versus a dry, a very dry skin, they often have very uh, small pores. Oh. So you have a dry skin, but it's also because we're playing around with your hormones levels. It's, that's really why you're more of a dry skin. Okay. Um, so the pores, I would say from what I can, from what I can see, 
It could be a priority, but from what you told me, I would focus more on squat, on spots, okay, and moisture. Okay. So, the pores, it's more. Uh, you could add in the booster, for example, mm -hmm. that could help with it. Okay. Um, but like I said, let's make a routine that's more about toning down any spots, pigmentation, and given that hydration. Mm -hmm. And I can show you some of the products that can help with pores, but it's not between the two. This one, this one is your number one, this one is your number two. Okay, sorry. So let's create a root yes, for you. Yes, love it. Yay! So, let's <laughs> so we are going to focus on these things right here, right here. <laughs> gel to oil yeah it's really good for dry skin really lock in that moisture and it helps just with um making a smooth finish and it good it's good also to prevent any aging signs nice so just you know for in the future you're not there because you don't really have wrinkles but just in case it's good to have that also because it is an oil you can use your foam on top of it afterwards so you can do a double cleanse okay at night because your first cleanser should be an oil cleanser or an oil based cleanser mm -hmm. for double cleansing which helps remove any dirt leftover makeup and then the other one's more like a water base mm -hmm. so that's more like the impurities really going a little bit deeper into the skincare so you could do this okay. at night or you can do that too okay. as well. Perfect. So you can chill. I think you're good. I'm just taking out what you already have that I like. And you said concerns was this stuff. Me too. It's, <laughs> so, my, it's my favorite one. Yeah, mine too. It wears so well in your makeup too. Exactly. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's like a little mattifying. Yeah. It smells good. And it's gentle enough. I use it on my, I use it on my kids when I go out to the pool. Oh, hey, my daughter. That's not one of my favorite ones. Yes. For face? Mm -hmm. For face. Yeah, nice. There's the lotion version. Yeah. Um, this one's like your everyday, the blue one is your everyday. But the other one, just because of what you said, I'd rather go more for sensitive skin just in case. Mm -hmm. um, and this is good for dry skin. I like it. There's no fragrances inside. It's dermatology tested. Um, so that's why I'm going more for this product. It's just because I want to make sure it's not going to react with what your medical products. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm a little bit more careful with selecting and making sure that I'm going more for someone that normally reacts to everything, which I know you don't. Yeah. But I'm choosing products like that so it doesn't counter effect. Yeah. The slightest irritation due to anything, it helps this it. thing works instantly. Yeah, my dog, my daughter's pediatrician recommended this for her actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. It's it's like I feel like physio gel because it's it's very like medical looking, mm -hmm. and I feel sometimes people forget about it. But for us here at the studio, anybody that says I react to everything, I have a dry skin. Even sometimes, like it's not made for oily skin because it's much richer. Um, but just someone that reacts normally, they get um, breakouts, they're, they get rednesses like all the time, like rosacea, things like that. Right. They're oh. itchy all the time, it's kind of the go to. Oh. <laughs> Actually, these three mm -hmm. are what I would add on to your skincare routine. Um, just because it's gonna hit different concerns that you already we already talked about. Okay. Do you want anything for the pores? I would love something for Do the pores. Do you want something for the pores? I'll give you two options because there is the booster. Yeah. Which you can try it at home. We'll have samples. You can kind of try it, see how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you're kind of avoiding serum, so it is an option. Yeah. Check with your dermatologist if it's good. Yep. If not. Use this guy. Yes, I bought that. I have to learn how to use it. So, um, the only thing though is that it needs battery, yep. so I can't actually, That's fine. you know, yeah. do it. The biggest key with this do circular motion because it is a sucking motion. Okay, so if you stay on one spot, it's gonna give you like a hickey. Like, okay, we, we don't want that. So, you really do 
Uh, you keep doing circular motions, just don't stay on the same spot. Okay. Um, you can even do like strokes, especially like near the cheek area. Okay. Um, but so just keep on moving. How does this help my pores? So this, uh, you actually have different heads that you can use. Um, some of the heads are gonna help with sucking any dirt, any impurities, mm -hmm. um, which is good for, you know, cleansing, any of that. I would say this guy is gonna help a little bit more to make them, sh to shrink them. Okay. But it's more like the combination Should of the, the two. two. Okay. This helps clear out what you have in your pores. Mm -hmm. um, the circulation is also gonna help for your blood flow, uh, things like that. Okay. Versus the booster is just gonna help more with the dilation okay. of the pores. Um, but basically you would wanna do this before you're, you wanna make sure that everything is clean before you <laughs> make them shrink, yes. right? Yes, okay, yep. Uh, pretty much everything I'm recommending you, like the extension, because I am avoiding uh, serums, mm -hmm. um, you have pretty much your full skincare here. Okay. So I'll show you first your nighttime skincare. Oh, okay. You have your cleanser. Yep. This is gonna help with your hydration, prevent any, um, you know, fine lines, wrinkles, kind of even, even out your skin mm -hmm. as well. It's gel to oil, so mm -hmm. it really breaks down any leftover makeup. Yep. You can use it alone. If you want to do double cleansing, you can do this. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Then you have your toner. You already know what. Yep. You already do your toner. Um, then you have obviously everything that you need for your lips. So your lip scrub removes any little dead skin cells. Um, dead skin that you have on your lips. Uh, then your lip mask is gonna help them be plumpy, hydrated, you know, give you a glow. And your eye cream, Bocuccio, I think for you in general, I would just stick to Bocuccio in general. Okay. Because your concern is spots, you don't have to worry about getting more spots, you know, obviously you already do your protection, but it's a good alternative for a retinol. Yeah, okay. So I would stick with that even whenever you'll be able to do uh, serums, you can go into the serums from PharmaX as well. Okay, so the Bocuccio serum. The Bocuccio, yeah, serum okay. is really good. So uh, these little guy, at least this one, check again with your dermatologist. Yep. But this is your basically your treatment yep. for your spots, post acne. It helps to tone them down. So it's okay. not gonna fully remove them. It just helps with the pigmentation aspect. Okay. of um, you know your spots so it's just gonna help you get a brighter look a brighter skin mm -hmm. uh, even out the skin tone um, and this is like probably the most like constant not the co most concentrated one but the most effective one mm -hmm. I would say yeah um, because it is the a new clinical okay so it's made for that um, this guy is for your concern of dry skin okay so this is like i said earlier dermatology tested no fragrance which is good for you know to prevent any breakouts or anything like that it's made for dry skin uh this one it's made to also calm your skin so if ever you do have another breakout you can still use it um, and it just helps to heal and calm down your skin. Amazing. So any redness is gonna help. Okay, so um, I have redness right around my nose. This will help? Yeah, this will oh, help. Awesome. Your oil is also gonna help because okay. this is the hemp seed oil. Mm -hmm. So any, again, any redness is calming the skin, that's what it's gonna target and help with. The combination of a cream and an oil is really great for dry skin. Um, the reason why I'm selecting this one in particular versus like the other ones, there's the mango seed, which is good for brightening. Mm -hmm. It can be good for you as well. But I'm going more for this one just because of the history of breakouts. Mm. So your skin still, still needs healing. Um, and also it's a dry oil. The other one's also a dry oil, but you don't have that oily feeling left over on your skin. And I would recommend for you, do it more at night. Okay. Um, you can do morning and night, but for you personally, do it at night. Nighttime. All right. So this is your full skincare. Is there one that you're really curious? Like, do you want to try the oil? I would love to try the oil. I've tried the oil before, but I don't think I, I used it as effectively as I could have. Okay. So I'd love to see the oil. You don't I'll need over. Awesome. You don't need a lot. 
So a little bit goes a long way. So you put really a few drops. Okay. Obviously, because we're doing it on the hand, I'm gonna I'm not gonna put as much. So for the face, I would say maybe like three drops three. should be good. And then this is good also if you use your massager. Yes. So perfect way to end your skincare. Nice. And she's a good hand massager. <laughs> So uh, help with the circulation, really massage it, and it absorbs really quickly. So you're not gonna get that yeah. sticky feeling. Oh my gosh, look at the difference already. You could totally yeah. sell. Any like redness, anything like that, your skin's gonna be like, thank you. And is it safe to use on the, uh, with uh, people with eczema? Um, eczema, obviously check with your dermatologist. Yeah. Um, I would say like they could, but like I said, check with their dermatologist. Yeah. yeah. I like it especially more for like rosacea. Okay. Um, they could use it, but it just because it's not like marketed for that. Yeah. So soft. <laughs> and it doesn't leave an oily yeah. really, after like, sensation. Yeah, it's very oil. dry. That's what's cool about yeah, it. I think what I I think that my issue was that I didn't I wasn't patient enough to massage it. To massage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you massage it, it's still an oil. Like yeah. if you don't massage it for a little bit, uh, it's normal that you feel <laughs> that residue. Yeah. But you really need to like kind of help the product to get absorbed. You already have your toner that really helps prepping the skin to mm -hmm. have a better absorption. But you know, using your roller is a good a good way to apply it. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, no, you could totally you could completely tap. Yeah. A little bit goes a long way. Love it. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. Make All a right. pass.